I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some multiple choice questions on combinations and Pascal's triangle. Those of you who are preparing for SAT, AP Maths or IITJ may find them very interesting. I will show you different ways of solving these questions and thereby you will also learn techniques, some people call it tricks, to do or solve the question in much shorter time. The question here is, what is the sum of first four terms of diagonal 2? Uh, I should have written in Pascal's triangle. In Pascal's triangle, right? So, this question is with reference to Pascal's triangle. I forgot to type it in. So, now the question is, what is the sum of first four terms of diagonal 2? in Pascal's triangle. Perfect. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now one method of course is that you just draw the Pascal's triangle, right? So starting with 1, so you know it's like 1, 1, and then when you come here it's 1, 2, and 1. When you combine it is 1, and then this portion should be 3, 3, and 1, and then it's 1, and then uh, 3 plus, it's actually better to draw lines, 4 and then 6, 3 plus 3 and this is 4 and that goes 1 and then we'll go move further down, so it is 4 plus 1, 5 and this diagonal 6 plus uh, 4, 10 and then this diagonal which is also 10 and then this diagonal is 5 and of course 1 let me go one more step here, 1, and then we have 5 plus 1, 6, 10 plus 5, 15, 20, right, uh, 15, and this is uh, 5 plus 1, 6, okay, and then again 1, okay, let's stop here. Now, what is the second diagonal? That is kind of important to understand. I found some students uh, don't understand what each term here is. We definitely call about row, right? So this is row number zero. And if you see like this, these are the diagonals. So that's the diagonal one. This is diagonal, I mean zero, diagonal one. And this is the second diagonal. So this one, which I'm drawing here, is actually diagonal two. Correct? So when we write T and R, right, T and R, then R is the diagonal number. R equals to diagonal number. Is it okay? So we are now interested in finding sum of first four terms in the second diagonal. That really means the numbers are these numbers. 1, 3, 6 and 10. It takes time to draw and then figure it out. And when you add it, you get... 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 6 is 10, 10 plus 10 is 20. So all you get is this number right there, 20, correct? Now, looking at this example, you must have got by now how you could get to 20 without spending so much of time. That's kind of critical, especially when you are appearing for a competitive exam. Perfect. Now, easy method here is we're talking about second diagonal, right? So R is 2. Does it make sense to you, right? R is 2, right? So, and as you can see, row number is also 2 here. Is it okay? N is also 2, correct? So as you go down, diagonal remains same. It is C2, right? This position is uh, 2C2, right? But here it becomes 3C2. 4C2, 5C2, and the answer is 6C3. Do you see that? So these are the numbers which you have to add to get to the answer. Is it okay? So the answer is, if you know that there are four terms, right, and diagonals are two, correct? There are four terms. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So 5C2, right? 2C2, starting with the two second number, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are the four terms, and the answer is 6C3, right? So you could have done like this, 2C2 plus 3C2 
plus 4C2 plus 5C2. These are your four terms and the answer is 6C3. Perfect. 6C3, easy to calculate. Uh, 6 factorial, right? Over 3 factorial times 6 minus 3 factorial. I'm only taking time to make you understand. Otherwise, you realize this is very easy to put to calculate, right? 6 factorial over 3 factorial, 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial, it cancels, right, with 3 factorial. Then again, we have 3 factorial. Let me write 3 times 2. Perfect. Easy to calculate. 3 times 2, 6 cancels. So you're left with 5 times 4 as 20. Correct. You get the same answer and you save all the time in making Pascal's triangle and figuring out that number 20. Right. So the answer is 6C3. That is how you could do it. If you are working on diagonal 2, then the sum lies in diagonal 3 after 4 terms. Do you see that? After uh, 4 terms. Is it okay? So that is how you get to this answer. 6C3. I'm Adil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Feel free to post questions. Thank you and all the best.